an easy exercise to get familiar with the concept of commutators. Just calculate the commutator of these two operators, namely x and dx. So pause the video and have a go at this. So by definition, the commutator is another operator. So if you have the commutator of x and d dx, so that other operator consists of x d dx minus d dx x. So what this basically means is that this other operator here is formed as a difference between two sub-operators, if you want. And the first operator first takes the derivative with respect to x and then multiplies by x. And in the second operator, we first multiply by x and then take the derivative. So it's a little bit cryptic the way it's written here. But in order to understand what's going on, it makes a lot of sense to try and have that operator operating upon a certain function. So let's do that. Let's write down x d dx minus d dx x f. So that you're not really tempted to just here take the derivative of x with respect to x and, and have a 1 there. This is not what we mean by that notation. This means an operator multiplying uh, by x. Okay, let's proceed to evaluate this. So let's have a look at this first term here in our operator. What will that do? Well, first we will have this operator d dx operating upon f, and then we will multiply by x. So that will give us x df dx. For the second term, the first operator that f encounters is the one immediately to its left. So this is the operator x. So this is multiplication by x. So we first have x times f. And then that end result here, x times f, that gets fed to the next operator, which will take the derivative with respect to x. So what we're looking at is d dx of this whole product here, x times f. And this is how you should interpret such an expression. Let's now just simplify this a little bit. So we have x, the f dx, and then we take the derivative of a product. So first the derivative of the first factor with respect to x will give us one. So we have one times the derivative of f with respect to, sorry, one times uh, f rather. And then we have x and we take the derivative of the second factor. This is the f d x. Good news is that these guys cancel, so the end result is that we have minus f. So what do we know? If we have this commutator operating upon a certain function, the end result is that we get the same function but multiplied with minus 1. So this is why we can write that our commutator basically is minus 1. The result of operating with that commutator on whatever you want is just flipping its uh, sign.